Progress is being reported at drawn-out trade talks between China and the United States. Chinese Vice Foreign Minister Le Yucheng has confirmed the positive outlook at Beijing's Shangsan Security Forum. The three-day event is being attended by defense ministers and senior officials from countries around the globe. Mr. Le has told delegates any problem can be resolved as long as both sides respect each other and cooperate. And he's called on all countries to work together and for China and the U.S. to end the trade war. Beijing and Washington have been working to resolve the dispute with the U.S. proposing a phase one deal and suspending a tariff hike. Mr. Le says both countries have accomplished much through cooperation. He emphasized that China wants the best for its people and does not want to harm others. However, he's warned Beijing's core interests will never be compromised, nor will it allow other countries to undermine its security. The comments come amid reports of fears that the U.S. may sever economic ties with China. Also at the Shangsan Forum, Singapore's defense minister, Ng Eng Hen, urged China and the U.S. to find common ground, and our Beijing correspondent Olivia Xiang reports. Under Republican leadership, America... Under the Trump administration, the United States has adopted an America-first approach to trade, and on the security front, it believes other countries should do their fair share of protecting vested interests. China, on the other hand, hopes to preserve the current multilateral trading system and sees an inevitable need to protect itself as its global interests expand. Speaking at the Xiangshan Forum in Beijing, Singapore Defense Minister Ng Eng Hen said while these narratives are not necessarily at conflict, the world finds itself in the midst of a strategic rivalry. And for this generation, it will be the single most critical issue that determines the fate of the world. The U.S. and China need to find some common ground while agreeing to disagree on other issues so as to not to risk global instability. Our world need bo needs both the U.S. and China not only to ensure the progress and stability, but also to deal with common security challenges such as climate change, nuclear threats and terrorism. Dr. Ng acknowledged that finding common ground will not be easy, but given that the alternatives are far worse, the U.S. and China must choose to act, as this challenge at its heart is a political one. The deepening rivalry between China and the U.S. has been in the spotlight here at the Xiangshan Forum this year, with countries expressing concern over the global fallout. Now, as the list of issues between the two superpowers continues to grow, Dr. Ng said it is difficult to imagine a single winner or a quick resolution of differences. Dr. Ng said the worst consequence could be a destructive collision, whether on the economic or military front. And as a small country, Singapore is keeping a close eye on the situation. For small countries like Singapore, we watch with deep concern as larger powers position themselves more aggressively against each other. Singapore will maintain its strong friendship with both sides, but is also acutely aware that the farther the U.S. and China pull apart, the harder it would be for all countries to keep its principle and neutral position. Dr. Ng added that the world is looking to the enlightened leadership of the U.S. and China to forge a world that is open and inclusive. Olivia Xiong, CNA, Beijing.